Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining me. Um, I brought this beer, it's in a can, you can see, um, with me from the UK before, obviously, back in late February. Um, it's my last beer on my birthday. I've been wanting to try this for ages, but I've held back. And here it is. It's Beaver Town's Espresso Imperial Espresso Coffee Stout. The light is... Oh, there we go. It's coming in at 9.5% ABV. It's got Guatemalan coffee in it. And it's brewed in collaboration with the Caravan Coffee Roastery. Um, I assume that's in London somewhere, um, close to Beaver Town. Um, they've done a couple of pilot, two or three years of piloting on this. Um, and at last it's come out in... That's the glass. At last it's come out in cans. So hopefully it may be become one of their core ranges. We'll see. Um, so yeah, 9.5% ABV. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Oh, at last. Pop the cap. It's a bit breezy, so apologies for that. This beer review could be a little bit longer than normal. Um, there's a ferry just coming in. This thing here. Where is it? That little light there. In the harbour. Right. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at the colour of that. It's a jet black beer. But it's it's got it's got lots of um, it has molasses in it. I've I've found out you can't see it anyway. It's dark. I mean, it's a dark beer in a dark environment. But it's got like a really nice creamy coloured head. One finger. Oh, that looks really amazing. Let's get a nose on it then. Oh my word. Oh my word. What a beer. You're getting chocolate coffee, the coffee in this beer. Smells amazing. Hints of vanilla in there. Dogs all of a sudden decide they want to bark through the radio review. Typical. But yeah, it's a fantastic beer. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh my word. Oh my word. What a beer. Oh. That is incredible. I've had one or two coffee stouts before, and I've got one one at home that I haven't tried yet, but I've had for, I think I've had it for 10 months, which the coffee may have faded, but this thing, Oh, it's got like hints of vanilla, really nice kind of, um, obviously the espresso is there, it's not It's not uh, letting you down, it says on the can, espresso, and it's delivering in leaps and bounds with this beer, because um, I've had this before where that, you, you get the main thing and it's saying it and it, you know, you kind of let down on some of these beers, but this is delivering. It says this is exactly delivering that. And it's 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 got a nice level of sweetness to the front end. It's a lovely smooth mouth feel. Um, it's got kind of a leathery quality, of silky smooth mouth feel. It's just fantastic. It's got like a burnt kind of meat quality to it. Lovely kind of roasty malts. 
it's so well you know put together um, it's just so I'm trying to keep out the light there's a there's a chair there and it's got its arm and it's right in the middle of the light so but it's a fantastic beer excellent lacing oh it's just incredible absolutely incredible beer it's got a it's, it's you know it's it's not too bitter it's got a slight bitterness on the back end this can wants to be blown away as I am with this beer Wow, 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 wow. Um, I've had a few beers now from, I'm a massive fan of Beaver Town beers. I've had quite a few of their core, well, most of their core range. Um, but this is on another level to anything I've had from these guys before. Um, it's just, oh, and it's not drinking like a 9.5% ABV beer either. I'm, what I'm going to do with this beer, because of the quality of it, I'm going to go away, sip on it for half an hour or so, and then come back and do like a final, final taste on it when it's come up a bit to temperature, see if it's changed a bit, because I think this beer deserves that that extra time. Um, so I'll be right back in a minute. Welcome back. Right, I've moved downstairs. I've got a bit of lighting going on here, so I've still got a fair bit left, quite a few mouthfuls, but it's 9.5. So, um, I thought of what I'd do the beer is fantastic. As for a rating for the beer, I'll do that first. Beaver Town X Caravan Coffee Roastery Espresso Imperial. Espresso Stout, 9.5%. It's a 10 out of 10 by a country mile. Probably one of the best coffee stouts I've ever had. In fact, the best coffee stout I've ever had. I've not had many, but you know, but this one is like it's probably one of the the best beers Beaver Town have ever done. I think it's fantastic. Right, by coincidence, I wasn't expecting to do this beer today, and I thought, right, today's a good day being your birthday and all that sort of thing I've got some chocolate to pair with it um, and it's Mocha from Nestle I've not seen this in the UK so I've had this once before since I've been here but I've not paired it with a a coffee beer dark beer at that so and it's quite cheap in the supermarket it's only about 2 euros or something but, you know, it's quite a big bar. It's one of them ones that's got the creamy kind of stuff with it. So, let's give this a go. See how it works. We know the beer's amazing. I know this chocolate is... Let's pair them together. God, it's seriously good. It's just like the coffee's melting. You're getting a rush of. Oh my god! The coffee's the espresso from the beer and the mocha. It's dark chocolate as well. It's matching up amazingly well with this. Um, shit! Didn't know there was any beer in there. Fancy leaving that? Oh well. I'm really lucky because I bought two cans of this. I've got a can in the fridge at home, along with the double chin. I've got another can of that as well, along with plenty of hoppy beers because I need it out here. But <clears throat> this beer is fantastic. I've got to do it again. Right. 
but it's not drinking like a 9.5 it's just melting all together amazing beer anyway without the chocolate but it's just complementing it each other brilliant first one of these I've done I know one or two other beer reviews to it but I saw it and I thought ah good time to do it um, but this beer is look at the you can actually see it now I wanted to do the review down here from the start but um, circumstances and stuff people talking too loud so um, so yeah it's in the coral glass locally it's probably the best beer it's had in this, in this glass It's just not drinking like 9.5. Anyway, gassing too long. It's a good idea if you can get any coffee chocolate to go with this beer, it works very well. If not, it doesn't really matter because you've got loads of chocolate in this beer as it is. Um, so if you've had this beer before, this amazing beer. I'm hoping to try and get some more, but it's probably all sold out and they've stopped doing it now. It seems to be a seasonal release, sort of early spring. If you've had this beer before, let me know, and cheers.